I know you've thought about it. I know you've wanted a reason to build a personal website. I mean, look how fucking sick my website is. Look at this. It's just so clean. And then if you go to my X, you can see that domain. Look at how sick this is. In this video, we're gonna give you three reasons why you should build a personal website because building a personal website is just badass. And uh, if you do it as well, you can be almost as cool as me. So let's get into it. All right, so the first thing is just remembering what the hell you've actually done. I think that a lot of people have really tried to journal in the past and journaling's hard, it's boring, and you have to stick with one app or one notebook or one place that you're writing all your journal, which is actually kind of hard to do when there's so many choices. But when you build out a website, just like mine, there's actually a place to keep track of everything you've ever done. So if we go to this page, I have to hit refresh because I, I didn't build it super good. Uh, the images don't load the first time, but I can see my entire history of like my entrepreneurial career. I can see all the projects that I've done and it just keeps track of it. So I, cause like so many people, you just have no idea. Like I have no idea what I did last month or last week. I have no clue what even happened yesterday, right? And so this actually just gives me a perspective on my entire life. And so with a kind of overview of all your project like this, you can kind of draw a line. I mean, here is that line. You can draw a line through your whole life and just kind of see like how it's progressing. That way, instead of just laying down, it's like you're laying down on a beach and the waves are just fucking poof, poof, smacking you in the face if, you, if you're not keeping track of this. When you are keeping track of it, it's like you're standing on a beach looking at the waves and you can, you know, pick which ones you want to actually surf. It's a much more intentional way to live life rather than just fucking letting it come at you. And I built this just a few days ago. One thing that shocked the hell out of me is I've started this business 663 days ago, which I kind of knew. I kind of knew it was two years ago, but... I didn't actually know how long I had spent on this business. And uh, the thing is, like, I'm not really a fan of it. Like, I, I never really liked it from day one. I still don't really like it. And I've just kept doing it because it was just the default. And I wasn't thinking about how much time I was sinking into it. If I had actually known how long it had been taking, if I had, like, a page like this where I could just look at what, like, what I'd been doing, I would know that I've been wasting my time and I would have picked a new project. But because I wasn't intentional, I wasn't thinking about it, I just didn't have an idea. So that's the first reason is you can actually keep track of your fucking life and know what is going on. Okay, the next reason to build a personal website is there's so many successful people that have them. So if we think about like Siver, uh, wait, I think it's Siv.rs. Derek Sivers, he's extremely successful. He sold um, CD Baby, which is kind of like a precursor to I iTunes, like a long time ago, and uh, made a shit ton of money. And he has blogs. He also has, there's also Tim.blog, Tim Ferriss's blog. Um, and then there's like so many, and Paul Graham as well. If you know, Paul Graham has an excellent website. I mean, it's, it's old. It looks kind of like shit, but he has so many good, like so much good contact uh, content on here. And yeah, I mean like all these people are so successful and they all have blogs, especially like these early kind of Silicon Valley guys, they all had blogs and that's how they got to know each other and, and kind of like learn things. And it can't be a coincidence that all the smartest, most successful people have blogs and have personal websites, you know, stuff like that just doesn't happen. There is a common thread. Something about having a personal website just puts you out there and makes you actually matter. And the other thing about kind of like blogging and, and writing about things is you don't actually have to, you don't have to do that. I do that on my website. I talk about like each project that I'm doing. Like if we look at my new project, I wrote down what the problem is, what I'm trying to, how I'm trying to solve it and how I'm going to approach it. Um, and when you do this, you can actually figure out things that you wouldn't have been able to figure out just from thinking about it, right? Because thinking is a good way to, to go over thoughts, but you can't actually store them and kind of like uh, adapt them and improve them, right? So when I was writing this whole thing out last night, I realized my main assumptions and I figured out like what I need to actually test first because I was like, okay, this that I'm writing right now is an assumption, which you wouldn't necessarily notice if you're just thinking about it. 
Okay, the final reason that you should build a personal website, why this is a goaded strat, goaded strat, <laughs> is that you're gonna basically have like a new style of resume. So if we think about it, the resume has been the same, largely the same for like a hundred years. And only now is there kind of a new style of a resume. There's Instagram, X, LinkedIn, whatever, uh, your personal website, right? And the personal website is that one thing that you can actually control more than a sheet of paper that really makes you stand out. Because like, if we look at Paul Graham's essay, I mean, we can see like, it's unique, it's minimalistic. That's kind of says something about his style of building things. If we look at mine, you can see that it's a little bit uh, designery and a little bit uh, overcomplicated. And that just kind of tells you like who I am and, and kind of how I like to build things. And the other thing is that like so few people have a personal website, like even software developers who their job is to build websites, not a lot of them have a personal website. So having one actually just makes you stand out like so much. Like if someone comes across your website and they can actually look at it and read your writing and kind of see how you design things, they're going to be so much more inclined to talk to you, to reach out. They could be a potential like, like boss that offers you a job or a mentor or a business partner or anything serendipitous, anything that good that could happen is going to happen more often because you actually have a personal website that's out there. That's kind of garnering views and, and getting people interested. And then the last point on this is that this also means that you can share things that you wouldn't necessarily be able to share on like X or, or LinkedIn or anywhere else. So like, obviously you're not going to post the, the full Transformers movie because that would be illegal, but I'm a geek about like the tools that I use and I wanted to share my favorite tools on my website because it would be fun to, you know, talk to other people who use some of the same tools and want to talk to me about them. So I list out all my favorite tools on this website and that's just kind of something special I can do. And I couldn't do this on another like social media platform. So there's a million ways to build a website. I mean, I would say that building a website is extremely, it can be extremely fast. Like you can build a whole website in a couple of hours if you're just keeping it super simple. It can be extremely fun if you build like a nice tool and it can also be like free, basically. My, my site is ex like completely free so far. So um, let me know if you want me to make a video on how to build a personal website. There's a million videos on how to build a website, right? There's different ways to do it. No code, with code, blah, blah, blah. Um, but if you let me know, I can make a video on how I built this website and how you can build a website similar to it or a new website, whatever. Um, yeah, see you then.